SOE Medical Backpack. Stick around. All right, guys, if you've been around for a while, you know that I like SOE product. I purchase from them quite often. Um, I like the gear that they make. I like that it's made in the USA. Uh, and it's very, very tough and durable and also modular. Modular is very important to me. Uh, I will say that, again, I am not a doctor, but I am trained first responder. And something like this to have on person or in your car or in your truck or whatever would definitely benefit anybody. Um, I will say that they are not cheap. So if you're looking for something like this, it's about $350 on the website. However, they do have discounts and specials and you just have to get on that mailing list and sometimes they send you a little extra, maybe a little extra bag or, or something that he's making and also free shipping a lot of times. They're not always available in these colors. Sometimes the color runs are different. Once they sell out, he goes and he makes something else. So if you can't get one, maybe on a secondary market, you could find one. But I will say this is an excellent backpack. I stuffed it full of stuff. I want to make sure that I have everything I need. And this is going to go in my truck immediately. The reason that I got this was because I wanted to replace my stomp. The stomp medical bag that I have uh, made in Vietnam. It's an excellent piece of kit. It's made by Blackhawk. Uh, I still will hold on to it because it does have uh, some sentimental value, but I will say that it's very, very large. This is a very, very large pack, as you can see. So you can see the, the, the height size. This is only about 15, I think this is 16 by 11 by six. All right, so this is 16 inches tall, 16 inches tall, all right, by 11 by six now i got this thing stacked to the gills but you can see it's quite smaller and i like that small compact style what i need you guys to do is to like subscribe share put some comments down below if you have one of these and uh let's get into it all right guys let's just talk a little bit about the bag so you can see all the way around it does have molly on the front it does have this nice piece up here where you can put any type of medical patches or moto patches if you like it does have two straps on each side where if you need to cinch it down you really can and then it also has molly on the sides so anything like extra tourniquets or something like that you can do that as well on the bottom again it has more uh, areas for latching and it also has a drainage hole which i think is really important so if you get water in there it just won't sit there it'll leak out now on my pack specifically what i did is i added two soe tourniquets uh, pouches they are pals capable or molly capable and i just went ahead and just threw them on there and also i have one uh sharpie and again one pen light just in case i need it i like to have that stuff outside on the bag and ready to go now on the back itself it does have on the back itself it does have a um harness does have a harness a shoulder harness it is all adjustable it does come with the sternum strap it does not have a waist strap and this is all stowable now what i chose to do what i chose to do here with mine is i wanted to have a stretcher all right i think it's important to carry people if you need to if you come up against a mass mass casualty you're going to have a way to move people around so what i did is i went ahead on amazon and i purchased uh, the quick litter, I think this is by, um, yeah, rescue essentials, quick litter, rescue essentials. I'm going to put all the links down below, uh, for all this medical kit. If you are interested, I will also put the link down below for the bag. Uh, the only thing is if you buy something from Amazon, I will get two cents on the dollar of everything you purchase. So thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, I don't get anything from SOE or John Willis other than some awesome kit. Now, again, as I said, this has a pocket in the back. So if you wanted to, what you can do is you can take off the buckles and you can stow it in the pack or back here in this pocket. All right. And then it just makes it a little bit more slick. So you don't have to worry about anything catching. It also comes with these two loops on top. So these two loops on top, you can either put something in there or you can use it to carry it. Uh, a lot of guys, this would be good for like, let's say an SUV or inside of a Humvee or something like that. You can clip this with two carabiners and hang it up and that's where you know where your med kit is, all right? So let's get into this bag. 
All right, so it is a clamshell open, which I really like. I'm a big fan of it. All right, and as you can see, it has quite a bit of gear in here. Now, it will come with two or uh, four of these smaller pouches and two larger pouches. This pouch I bought separately, SOE does sell that. And what I had done is just remove the smaller pouches for the large pouches. I think that's a little bit better set up for me. And these patches right here, I bought on Amazon. I'll give you the link down below. They're just customary patches and I wanted to uh, separate my gear to what I needed it for. Okay, so uh, real, and also on the inside of these packs, there is a secret compartment inside. It is a secondary level right here. And what I chose to do is add uh, a space blanket or an outdoor blanket. A lot of times people will go into shock. Uh, I think it's like uh, after 98 deg uh, 96 degrees, uh, blood has a hard time clotting if it drops below that. So you gotta keep your patients warm. Uh, some people like to use those Mylar blankets. I like to use something a little bit more um, heavier. Uh, again, to each his own, your budget may vary, but uh, Arctis makes really, really good survival blankets and it reflects the heat back to that person, all right? So it has one on this side, which is nice, and it also has one on the other side. Now on this other side, what I chose to do is to do triage or uh, casualty care. These are triage tags, all right? Triage tags is to, if you come up on a casualty situation, what you wanna do is try to get all their information, their, their BP, uh, what their injury is, um, name, contact information, that kind of stuff, and then you have to kind of label them. If they're dead, you don't have to worry about it. Just put a tag on them, get their driver's license, put the information on, and as much information as you can. All right, uh, ambulatory means immediate. Uh, and the secondary just means they can wait. All right, so they are injured, but they can wait. And then the third one is walking wounded. So basically a, a cut, a bruise, uh, an ice pack, they could wait the longest, all right? So what you would do is fill this out on both sides with the location, all the information, their contact, what time, if they're male, female, that kind of thing, if they're on meds, if you applied meds, what's their O2 levels, that kind of thing. Rip off the last one that, that applies. So if they're, um, they're immediate, you're gonna rip off these two and get rid of it. You know that they are immediate. Also, what I like to do is to mark areas by chem lights. All right, so I have red, green, and yellow that correspond to the triage tags. Okay, so red, green, and yellow. So if it's black, I don't have a black chem light because that would be stupid. So what I do is I have a white chem light, all right? Anybody that's deceased, uh, we're gonna put them on the side with a white chem light. And this way you could start coordinate, coordinating any type of mass casualty injury um, and get people the help that they need, all right? So what I did up front, and again, as you can see here, is I labeled it the meds pouch, all right? The meds pouch, very simply, is gonna be anything that has medication in it. And I did throw a couple extras in here. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single piece, but I, you should have some type of PBE. All right, make sure you have a mask. And again, I also have a headlamp. Headlamp's gonna ha allow you to be hands-free. And again, I have two PPEs in there. And again, everything in here is gonna be pretty simple. So, iodine, I have some cortisone, all right, these are headache meds and anti-diarrhea and all that kind of stuff. Also have some eye wash in here. Very, very simple, basic first aid kind of stuff. It's not too crazy, it just gives me what I need. And again, I wanted to have a all-encompassing bag, just not trauma. There are bags just made for trauma, but I wanted to have something a little bit extra for uh, regular needs. All right, so what I have over here is the ouch pouch. The ouch pouch is very simple. It's gonna be simple band-aids. All right, I put everything in plastic bags to keep it waterproof, but small knuckle bandages, alcohol swabs. Uh, I have some uh, uh, safety pins. I have small, what are these, six by, uh, two by twos? Yeah, so I have small two by twos. Basic first aid stuff, so burn gel, first uh, antibiotic cream, 
sturdy strips. So if you don't want to do stitches on scene, you probably want to close that wound. All right, again, antibiotic ointment. And I have a uh, Benadine solution. All right, this is all in there. All right, I also do have a suture kit in here. All right, I don't know if you ever tried to do a suture kit with somebody that does not have any type of local. Uh, I would not recommend it, but it's in there if I need it. So that's my ouch pouch. Major bleeds, that's what most people are gonna be looking for. I have it in this large pouch. And again, I try to put medical gloves in every single pouch that I have, except for the two small ones. Uh, it's very difficult in a, a stressful situation to go digging for your medical gloves. It's best to just have them in everything. So if you have a couple pairs and everything, somebody can help you. Also, when it comes to medical gloves, make sure they are a blue or light color. Uh, most doctors and EMTs will tell you that the lighter color is easier to see blood. If you have those black tactical gloves, although they are cool and they will work, um, it's very difficult to see different kind of bleeds. All right, so that's why we try to use blue. All right, trauma shear. Right, multiple ways to plug wounds in here. All right, sterile uh, gauze. All right, I have the old school, but the H bandage. All right, that works pretty well. All right, here's another one, the H bandage. So I have two of those. More gauze. I also have uh, ABD pads. So these are five by nines. These are sponges. All right, these sponges work really well. Multiple, multiple gauze. I have four by fours in here. I also have burn gel. And I have two abdominal sponges or trauma dressings. All right, so these are really convenient. Um, very large 10 by 30s, all right? 10 by 30s, anything around the abdominal area, you're probably gonna need something more than the small stuff. So highly recommend to get those. All right, let's go into circulatory. Like I said, there's only so many things that I can do with my level of care. As far as a first responder, first aid, I am not an EMT or paramedic. In the military, I did have triple C certification. Uh, and currently I do too, but again, because of the world of lawsuits, yeah, um, do the best you can, all right? I know there's a law that say, states um, it's the hero's law, or whatever it is, it just means that you know you do your best. But if you don't know how to do trachs, do not do trachs. If you do not know how to use a, if you, if you do not know how to use a 14 gauge needle, don't use a 14 gauge needle, wait for other people to come by. All right, so for my circulatory, again, I have some more gloves and PPE. I do have some eye, eye, eye protection. A lot of people like, why eye protection? Well, uh, if you've been around um, major mass casualties, such as, I don't know, 9-11, there's a lot of debris flying around. So I have a couple masks, I have some glasses, I don't have to go looking for it. This is a surgical tourniquet. I have a couple of ace bandages. I also have a splint, Sam splint in here. All right, so I also have my blood pressure cuff and my stethoscope, a couple extra pieces that come with it. All right, this is the Amazon brand. This is Primacare. So I'm not really not too worried about, you know, like again, I'm just trying to get an accurate reading to find out where this patient is, if they need any type of help. So I have that. All right, comes in this nice little pack. Again, I wanted to make sure that I had the necessary diagnostic equipment to help out anybody else that's coming to help. All right, I also have an IV start kit. All right, you can also get these on Amazon. Again, I would highly recommend um, just checking your source because sometimes they send the wrong ones, but uh, there's a, a lot of good, a lot of good things out there if you need it. Um, this comes with the tourniquet, the swab stick, the alcohol prep pad, gauze sponges, tape strips, uh, the addressing, and the label. All right, so it doesn't come with the actual um, needle. All right, so if you need the needle, you're probably going to have to get that from a medic anyway, but at least you can start setting things up for when they get there. You're just like, hey, give me that, pop it in. All right. All right, guys, and the last one is going to be air or airway or air breathing, if you will. All right, again, more gloves. All right, I just threw in some extra tape because we're probably going to need it. Coband, plenty of coband to go around. 
pulse oximeter. I think this thing is great. I would highly recommend getting one and using one. Uh, really does work. All right, this is the BVM. This is the uh, travel size. Uh, it's just compressions, all chest compressions only. But again, if somebody needs oxygen and you need to give it to them, I would rather use this than my mouth. So we have that small surgical kit in here. Again, these are surgical instruments. I don't recommend doing surgery on the side of a road or anywhere else, but they are in here if you need them. Uh, maybe a pair of tweezers, hemostats, that kind of thing. And again, you know, go what you know. Don't go any crazier, all right? Um, hyphen chest seal. I think there's, yeah, there's uh, NPA, two NPAs and a larger hyphen chest seal. This one's in from North American Rescue. And I also have surgical loop. All right, guys, so this is a highly recommend for me. You guys know that I like uh, SOE equipment, so special operations equipment. You, I'll drop the links down below if you like. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, add some information down below if you have this pack, if there's anything you like about it, don't like about it, that kind of thing. Also, they do call, come in different color combinations, so you're going to have to jump on a website and see what's available. Thank you very much, guys, and as always, be safe.